The best locations for tourism in the world are the ones that are safe, luxurious, accessible, and more importantly, coastal and with beautiful, warm year-round weather. We can also add green and sustainable to the list since ecotourism is the future. This might make you think that such locations are abundant since there are millions of kilometers of warm areas overlooking the world's oceans and seas. However, most countries in the world cannot afford to build such mesmerizing destinations due to the insane costs. In a nutshell, anyone can build a resort, but very few can afford to build true world-class regenerative futuristic luxury mega resorts in ideal locations. It costs tens of billions of dollars. But for a rich, stable, and safe nation like Saudi Arabia, that is mission possible. In 2017, the country launched several giga projects at a mind-boggling cost that runs in the hundreds of billions of dollars. One of these colossal projects is the Red Sea Project, which is a vast 28,000 square kilometer tourism destination along the kingdom's west coast that by all means will surpass the Maldive Islands and Bora Bora in more ways than you can imagine. Let's take a close look at this magnificent one-of-a-kind tourism giga project. The Saudi motto when it comes to mega projects is simple, make it unique, vast, luxurious, and green. It is actually a very sensible and reasonable approach because let's face it, tourism has become a source of pollution and destruction for the environment. In the past two decades, the number of tourists traveling internationally more than doubled to reach a staggering 960 million people in 2022 alone. This growth also meant pressure on the environment. In fact, the pressure on oceanic ecosystems is so high, some top destinations in Asia, among other places, had to shut down beaches to rescue their resorts. This meant two things for the firm Red Sea Global, which is developing the Red Sea Project. It is an economic necessity that will transform the kingdom, and it has to be based on regenerative tourism. Simply put, it has to be green and good for the surrounding environment. The philosophy of regenerative tourism rotates around bringing a positive impact on the local system, both environmentally and socially. For the Saudis, this meant that the Red Sea project had to be built in a manner compatible with the surrounding environment and as an ongoing positive contributor to the health of the coral reefs and ecosystem. As for the social part, such resorts have to be focused on making customers leave with not only positive and happy memories and a sense of rejuvenation, but also friends and knowledge of the local culture and heritage. This made the developers of the Red Sea project in collaboration with top firms from around the world create a unique holistic approach that would turn the resorts into a meticulously modern and interconnected living system. Mind you, this was not easy since the project involves the development of an area that can only be described as a gem and hidden treasure surrounded by one of the world's biggest and most diverse coral reefs. The area boasts 90 pristine, never-touched-before islands from which 22 are being developed, and six inland sites that will eventually host 50 hotels, 8,000 guest rooms, 1,000 residential villas and mansions, and one state-of-the-art international airport. Believe it or not, a good part of this mega project is complete, and we can only describe the results as stunning. In the next few months, or by early 2024 at the latest, the Red Sea Project will be ready to welcome 300,000 guests in line with the completion of 16 hotels with 3,000 rooms across five islands and two inland sites. By 2030, the whole project will be completed and host more than 1 million visitors each year. Before we go into the details of this amazing mega project, we do have to answer an important question. Why are they building it while a few hundred miles away on the Red Sea, the magnificent $1 trillion city of Neom is being built? It is sort of mind-baffling because Neom is huge and already includes the year-round snow resort of Trojina and the luxury sea resort of Sindala. The answer is basically because they can afford it while setting new standards, and also to compete in the incredibly profitable global hospitality sector. Additionally, it is an imperative part of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 to diversify the economy and move away from reliance on oil revenues. What the Saudis are doing is quite amazing. They are moving forward with a $7 trillion mega projects plan. Not only are they transforming the whole country into a green, sustainable, regional and global powerhouse, but are also creating a supply chain for green fuels such as hydrogen for planes and cars. Their confidence is also very intriguing, not because many of these mega projects are complete or are under construction, but rather because their predictions are quite impressive. 
For example, they expect more than 1 million tourists to visit the Red Sea project every year. But since long-term sustainability and the environment are a big issue, they are planning to cap the number of visitors at 1 million per year. I think it's time to look at some of the details in more depth. As we said before, the Red Sea Mega Resort spans over 28,000 square kilometers with an archipelago of more than 90 untouched islands. But what we did not say is that it boasts crystal clear pristine beaches, dormant volcanoes, sweeping desert dunes, mountain canyons, and many ancient Saudi historical and heritage cultural sites. The weather is nice and warm throughout the year with very little rain in the winter. More than 50 million mangrove trees are also being planted to beautify the already breathtaking scenery. These trees are known for their resilience in all climates, benefits for coral reefs and wildlife, and also for cooling the nearby areas while helping planet Earth by absorbing large amounts of CO2 and producing plenty of oxygen. All properties will be five stars luxury properties. Some of the offered activities will include marine life diving, coral ranching, heritage diving, kayaking, below and above water adventures, volcano experience, yachting, sailing, and natural power sports. Five-star Michelin chefs will run tight shifts in glamorous restaurants that offer fireside dinners, remote island picnics, and special Red Sea tables. One can expect a spontaneous, never-ending, holistic, and rejuvenating experience that also includes unique live performances, shows, stargazing, birdwatching, and even folklore. One interesting aspect of the project is the fact that it is in such a central global location where one can easily reach several European, Asian, and African countries in as little as three hours by plane. Mind you that more than half of the world's population can access this wonder in as little as eight hours in flight time. Of course, to make this possible, a state-of-the-art international airport has been built, and it is quite marvelous with a never-seen design that complements the surrounding beauty of the desert. The guests will be surprised to find luxury passenger helicopters, seaplanes, and boats awaiting them at the airport and marinas to transport them to the various island destinations. Blue power generation technologies, wind turbines, and solar panel fields will feed what is considered to be the world's largest facility of truck-sized batteries that will make the entire project powered with green energy. On the islands, guests will only find electric sustainable vehicles to move around. A variety of yachts, including luxury large ones, will be available for rent to cruise around the islands. Some of the names involved in the management of the islands include Ritz-Carlton, Rosewood, SLS, St. Regis, Intercontinental, Raffles, Fairmont, and Six Senses. Such names alone attract celebrities, billionaires, and royals. A 1 million square meters landscape nursery dubbed to be the largest in the region has also been built and is now fully operational. It will provide more than 25 million plants for island resorts. Additionally, the nursery is a destination for guests where they can touch, smell, and feel a wide collection of rare plants, shrubs, and trees. Let us shock you now with some of the unique architecture and designs involved in the soon-to-be-opened first resorts. Created by the world-class architectural design firm Oppenheim Architecture, Desert Rock is an engineering marvel, an in-mountain hotel with rooms and suites built directly into the rock and stone. The Shebara Island is also an engineering wonder with a very unique design. It features futuristic steel orbs that float over the water, reflecting the sea, sky, and reef below. The island also features white sand beaches and the ultimate spot for snorkeling and diving thanks to a 30 to 40 meter reef drop-off close to the beach. Golfers in particular will enjoy Shura Island which features 11 luxury hotels and resorts, a gorgeous 18-hole championship golf course, its own beach club, and a yacht marina. Umahat Island also seems to already attract billionaires since it will be home to the prestigious St. Regis Resort and A. Ritz-Carlton Reserve. These are just a few names to keep in mind when packing and booking your ticket for your next vacation to escape winter. Thank you for watching. Please do like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon as we continue to bring stories of the world's most spectacular mega projects.